Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I got a little update here for you. Um, I, I wasn't necessarily going to do this when I bought this. I wasn't going to do an unboxing. I was just going to show it in my next like update video. But I figured uh, there weren't any videos online about this um, uh, set at all. And I figured, what the hell, I just bought it. There's nothing special about it, really, but I figured I'd show it, just in case someone wanted to actually see it. So um, The last week, a lot of Star Trek movies... Uh, have been on uh, were on sale on Amazon and uh, other places. I think I think it's mainly just Amazon, but all the Star Trek movies, the original original movie set, and then the Next Generation set were like twenty eight bucks and twenty bu uh, nineteen twenty bucks respectively, something like that, around that price. And I actually purchased those, uh, but then when I saw that the Star Date uh, set, the the big set, well. This set, I guess. Uh, the Star Trek, it says uh, Stardate Collection. It has all the first six movies with uh, Leonard Nimoy and Shatner, and then the final four movies with uh, Patrick Stewart. Uh, all in one set, as opposed to the two sets. And it was pretty much the exact same price. And I thought, well, well what the hell? Um, one of the reasons why I never actually purchased um, the uh, original Star Set, uh, Star Trek set, uh, six movies and the four movies. Because it came in those skinny Blu-ray cases, uh, like the Austin Powers set, and I just didn't—I don't like those cases, so I figured I wasn't going to get them. But once they were that cheap, I figured it would—it just—it was something good to get. I was either going to get them individually, the movies, or get the sets and the movies themselves. There's ten movies, so it's ten cases, and you know, space can be an issue. So I figured, what the hell, I'd buy them. But like I said, to make a long story even longer, I guess, I bought this when I realized it was the same price, and I figured, what the hell, uh, I don't care, I'll just buy it. Um, because it doesn't have the, doesn't have the uh, skinny cases, it's got um, two separate uh, digipacks. As you can see there, it's got the first uh, six movies, and the final four, plus the Captain's Summit, and then like a um, bonus disc, something else, I think it's called like Evolution or something. But anyway, this was like 48 bucks, I believe, after uh, shipping and stuff. Well, shipping was free. But, um, anyway, how about enough babbling, and I just showed you what the set was. Um, it's actually a pretty simple set, like I said. Um, it's got Star Trek, Star Trek Collection at the top. It's got that cool image on the front. Same on the front and back there, and then on the bottom it's just nothing. And then the two sets come out like this. I don't break anything. There. And there is, well, here's one through six movies, and then here's uh, seven through ten plus the bonus. Let's just do one at a time here. And they're stacked sort of like the, um, what's, what's that, the, the Back to the Future sets. So I think that might be why people aren't buying this set, either because they already own the other two sets, or uh, also because these sets have a tendency to be really snip persnickety with the discs. This set is not really, it's actually pretty good. Um, one reason too I was holding off on buying these is because I'd actually seen this set at uh, Best Buy and Target once. And I picked it up, you know, and just kind of like moved it around. And I could tell there were five or six of them in the store and they, every single one had a loose disc. So I thought, oh, well, that's lame. And I just kind of got turned me off on getting it. And then when I got this in the mail, there were loose discs. And uh, when I opened it, though, they were, it was fine. Well, I guess there was only one, this, uh, Search for Spock was loose. That was the only one that was loose, but the uh, disc is fine. They are Blu-rays, so they're not as easily scratched. But uh, that would always turn me off. But anyway, once again, I'm rambling. So yeah, this is the first six movies. It's got uh, Motion Picture, uh, Wrath of Khan, Search for Spock. Um, what's that one called? Voyage Home. Final Frontier, and then I think Undiscovered Country. Yeah. So all six movies. I've only seen... Uh, the first two and maybe this, the Search for Spock. I have not seen these last two for sure, and I don't think I've seen The Voyage Home either. Um, so this is a you know, huge set for me because I've never seen these. Not really. And then it's got synopses um, for each movie. Um, plus some special features on some of them anyway. Which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So yeah, pretty cool. So right there alone, um, that's that uh, six movie set would probably be around fifty bucks. So uh, then I got these movies. This is the ones I'm more familiar with. Um, uh, Star Trek 
7 through 10, plus the bonus discs. This is the um, Patrick Stewart collection. Well, the uh, Star Trek Next Generation collection, I guess. And that is Generations and First Contact. Insurrection and Nemesis. And I have seen all of those. Uh, I watched those in, uh, in the 90s and stuff. And I, I watched the show a little bit growing up. I did not watch the show religiously. I just caught episodes here and there, but I liked it. And uh, there's the Captain's Summit, which is uh, something like 70 minutes or something. It's not focusing at all. Yeah, 70 minutes. And then this other disc, Evolutions. I'm not really sure what's on that, but uh, that's 77 minutes. And then there's background art, but you can see what that is. It's just um, like a space... Uh, it's not focusing here. Here we go. Yeah. And then once again, it's got the same thing. It's got uh, the movies and then uh, synopsis plus the uh, special features that they have. Um, pretty cool. And the Captain Summit. Yeah, that's just a round table, I think, with uh, Nimoy Shatner, Patrick Stewart, and some others, yeah. And then Evolutions. This is Moments in Star Trek History. I guess you can pause that and read that if you want. It looks like it's got information about uh, uh, key episodes, key timelines. Uh, it looks like it says villains, farewell to Star Trek, and oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's a cool set. Um, I'm pretty sure this is everything that comes with um, the individual sets. I think Captain Summit comes with the first six, and this Evolutions comes with um, the final four. I'm pretty sure, anyway. So yeah, getting them all together is pretty cool. Um, well, I guess I could show you... Actually, yeah, actually, hold on. Uh, besides that, this week I bought two other things. I bought... I had some uh, Best Buy Reward Zone points. Uh, and a $10, well, I guess $10 uh, gift card in my pocket that was burning a hole in my pocket, I guess. But uh, And so I just kind of used that money and then spent about 6 bucks of my own money to get her. It's a movie I've been wanting to see for a while, and it's just it was 25 bucks, so like almost 26 after tax and shit. So that's expensive for a new release or a movie for a single movie to get, but I just I wanted to see it. And like I said, I, got, I had basically 20 bucks that I'd gotten for free that I figured what the hell. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I plan on watching it this weekend at some point. Um, but, uh, yeah. I got that. And then the next thing I got, uh, something I got from eBay. And this is actually going to I actually had to file something about this. I ordered Riddick with a slipcover, actually, which I was surprised. It did not say it was coming with a slipcover. So that was a bonus. But then the, uh, the problem is I opened the disc, and it doesn't come with a, um, digital copy, he actually, the seller actually mentioned that and I wasn't planning on getting one, but I've got the DVD over here and then the Blu-ray over here, but if you're looking closely you can see there's a problem here. Uh, this movie is The Chronicles of Riddick, which is the 2004 version of the movie, the uh, second movie technically of the trilogy, and this is the 2013 movie that I ordered, so uh, I don't know if this guy was trying to pull a fast one on me or if he's just an idiot. Or, I mean, I, I'm not really sure how you can get an incorrect movie in a case without either being deliberate or placing it there or, I don't know, that that to me is very fishy. And like I said, I filed a claim with uh, eBay and I haven't heard back yet. That was yesterday. So I guess I'll find out how that goes. I have the DVD, you know, which is great, but I don't care. I want the Blu-ray. That's what I paid for. See, that's what's happening right now. That's what, those are the things I bought this week, so I guess technically I did still spend over, six, uh, over uh, 60, 70 bucks. But uh, 50 of that was on one set. Um, so yeah. Um, that's all I got this week and uh, this weekend. Uh, I don't plan on buying a whole lot more. Uh, so yeah. That's it. That's where I'm going to show you guys the unboxing and then tell you about what's going on with these. Well, not this really. Uh, I'll update you, I guess, depending on how this goes. I'm expecting this guy to um, have some bullshit excuse, or I guess we'll see. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.